When you're a star, when you're starry head up in the sky, it's really easy to get carried away. But no matter how rich and popular you are, you should always think about the future. Otherwise, you can end up in a ditch like some of the celebrities we're gonna talk about in today's episode. Alright you guys, let's have a look at 10 celebrities who lost all their money. As usual, every messed up celebrity top 10 list starts with Lindsay Lohan. This actress got famous really early in her career when she did that film Freaky Friday, Mean Girls and Just My Luck. For each of those flicks she got paid a few million bucks. But young Lindsay got carried away really quickly, a luxurious lifestyle got her head spinning, and she started to drink a lot. She's been caught drink driving many times and was forced to pay enormous fines. She lost her pretty looks, advertising companies ended most of her contracts, and these days Lindsay isn't a big star anymore. Another beauty on the list is Pamela Anderson. This chick was in demand a little longer. At some point in her career she's got so famous she would get paid tens of thousands of dollars for a single photo shoot. But life is never a picnic, even when you're a top-notch high-class model like Pamela. In 2010 she bought a house in Malibu. It cost her 1.5 million dollars. She also wanted a golden swimming pool and whatnot, but turned out that she couldn't afford one because with all that luxurious lifestyle she ran out of money. She also had a lot of debt in taxes so she was forced to sell the house. Chris Tucker got really famous after his roles in Rush Hour and The Fifth Element. People were saying that he was going to be the next Eddie Murphy, but his popularity went away almost as quickly as it came. Despite that he got a whole lot of money for Rush Hour 2, he lost almost all of it in an instant as if he never really owned any money. Not to mention that Rush Hour 3 was a total disaster. Remember Wesley Snipes? the guy who played that vampire slaying character Blade. Well, you may be surprised to know that Wesley spent three years in jail for tax evasion. And it's been a while since he got a decent role too, so things aren't going all that well for this guy. Anyway, he seems pretty positive and does all sorts of small TV series and little things like that. Nicolas Cage was once one of the most popular Hollywood actors. As an A-list celebrity, he was loaded like nobody. Films like National Treasure and Gone in 16 Seconds brought this guy more than 20 million dollars each. But Cage is one of those guys who likes to spend money. He likes buying houses, yachts, planes, castles and stuff, so this guy is a little crazy like that. Unfortunately, Cage's career went down lately quite a bit and now he owes the government 14 million dollars. Mike Tyson's career took a swift turn after his huge success in the 90s. He used to make shit loads of money. Back in the days he used to get wild money. I mean 400 million dollars is a lot, you gotta agree. So Mike got a little crazy with that type of money. He used to buy houses and fancy cars, among all, tigers. Real Bengal tigers. He had a drinking problem at some point. He almost got bankrupt, but his wheel of steel brought him back up and now he's right as right. Do you guys remember 90s star Mr. MC Hammer? Back in the days he used to have 33 million dollars. He spent 20 million to build a house. Now, unfortunately his single can't touch this was the only decent thing he ever did in his career. From there on it only kept getting worse. So he was trying his best up until 2006, but nothing cool ever came out from this guy. Brandon Fraser was once very popular. I mean George from the Jungle and Mummy Films alone were a blast. After the divorce he was forced to pay his wife a million dollars every year. It's funny how one time he said to the judge that he can't keep on paying that kind of money anymore because a tree fell down right on his back during a heavy storm. Brandon is a very funny guy, you can tell. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll leave a like and share this video with your friends. That's all for now and I'll see you next time.